uh, is Rumble Jumble there. <sighs> this just in. Peter Parker likes sounding. Let's go. Uh, we need to earn 500 more points, um, and then we can continue. In the last episode, Spider-Man died. So this is the reincarnation of Spider-Man. Hey, Spidey. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Is this the same one I did before? I think it is. Hi, my name is Spider-Man, and I'll be your superhero today. Okay. Spider-Man, thank goodness you're here. Oh, what's up with the chick's neck? Oh, I got her neck. I got her neck's broken. Help her. Did you see that chick's neck? Ew, look at her neck. Oh, she fell. Don't worry, I'm coming, dude. Woohoo! I'm coming. I got you. Bring the destination marker. Okay. I can do that. I'm gonna run. If I run and jump with him, is he gonna fall on the ground? <laughs> That's funny. Hope that didn't hurt, buddy. Should probably be swinging. Guess that's Spider-Man's shtick, isn't it? Oh God, it's hard to swing when you only got one hand. Oh, oh, oh I'm at the hospital. I've got to take him to the hospital. That's cool. I got you, bud. How'd you break your ankle? You're an idiot. I don't think that's that's kind of like below my pay grade. I think I think the paramedics could have handled that one. All right. Can I web up these fucks? Can I web up civilians? Can I be like Grand Theft Auto? Can I just beat up women? <laughs> hey, sup? I'm Peter Parker. <laughs> All right. Am I done? Do I have to do anything else? Do I need more hero points? Oh, I do. Fuck. I'm coming, dude. Don't worry. What's up with this guy? You look like a flasher. Oh god, gunshots. Shit. Oh fuck. The guy's on the cop car. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No one's getting shot on my watch. Punching up bad guys, punching up bad guys, punching up bad guys. The, the the whole like Spidey um sense thing is really difficult to do. You get like two second warning on it. Got him. You just ran over that cop. What's going on? <laughs> you killed okay, I guess I did that. Alright. What the hell? Can I just like run up to it? Can I jump on it? Is that a thing I can do? How do I jump on it? Damn it, how do I jump on it? Alright, there we go. Punching cars and dodging bullets. Alright, web up that guy, and then I can fuck up this guy a lot easier. Oh, it's a girl! Oh, God. Pete! Pete, you're killing a girl here! Hey! Man, those bullets take, like, a lot of damage. I mean, they are bullets, so I can understand. Oh, I got health back. Okay. Can I do a main mission now? I don't care about the side mission crap. I want to fight a bad guy. I want to see more Black Hat or some shit. Ooh, maybe we'll run into Iron Man or Daredevil. Fuck. Oh, okay. Gave me a marker, guys. I can do something again. What do you guys think it's going to be? Am I gonna be ooh, a meeting of the minds. Oh, it's going to be a meeting with doc Dr. Otto Octavius. Cool beans. Buy a grapple attack. Oh, shit. Um, can I buy the grapple attack now? Access... What do I need to get? What does I need to get? Grapple attack. Yes. Got it. Hold Y and B to reel enemies into your grasp. That's cool. So I can like yo-yo them up. That's dope. Probably tell a story. Um, what's a cool story? Tobey Maguire looks a lot like Jake Gyllenhaal. And they actually were in a movie together playing brothers. That's all I know about it. I never saw the movie. I just know. I've always thought that Jake Gyllenhaal and Tobey Maguire look alike. They, they do, don't they? They do. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to go to this marker here, I guess. Start this mission. And then we can uh, do some more side quests. You know? Help out some, 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 uh, some, some civilians. 
Woohoo! All right, so we're off to see fucking. Oh, okay. So another cool story about fucking Doctor Octopus. One of my favorite lines Doctor Octopus has in that movie, or in any movie really. Um, you know that scene when he's got Aunt May on the bank, and Peter's like, "Let her go," and he's like, "Poor choice of words." And then he's like, "Butterfingers," and he like drops her. That's my favorite fucking thing ever. Butterfingers, butterfingers. Like his little head bobble when he does that. Oh, it's amazing. Hand her over. Of course. Easy now. <laughs> Butterfingers. I really like the actor who plays Doc Ock. He's a good actor. He was in that um, Andy Tribeca show, and he's really funny in it. Oh, Jesus. About time you got here. Connie's a busy man. I don't want to keep him waiting. Sorry, Harry. Never mind. Let's go. Whoa. So this is obviously before Dr. Octopus becomes evil. If you remember in the events of the film from 2004, um, Dr. Octopus was originally just trying to like solve the power power problem um, and obviously fucked it up, accidentally killed his wife, realized he had you know the ability to control these, these arms, um, and then became a criminal. And at the end of the movie, he redeemed himself. He actually was a really cool... That's why, that's why this movie is probably one of the best Spider-Man movies is that he wasn't just, you know, the, the bad guy for the sake of being a bad guy. He actually did kind of feel for him, and he had a reason for doing what he's doing, and, you know, he felt for him. It was cool. I can't tell if these graphics are really, really bad or adequate. Comment down below what you think. That's actually the voice actor for Doc Ock, too. Shitballs. Yeah, we get it. You're going to become... Your name's Otto Octavius, and you develop a whole system using octopus arms. Like, that's fucking convenient, isn't it? Also, your neck isn't the same color as the rest of your body. Is that just me? God, Peter, you look gross. You look like Harry Potter. That was it? That's fucking boring. It was just a fucking cinematic. That sucks. I just gotta do a bunch of random side missions again now. I know the police can handle it, but I'll never forgive myself if someone gets hurt during the chase. I'd okay. Stop those trucks. Punch him. Got it. Ha ha. Heads up. Huh, huh, fuck. I'm getting my ass kicked again. Run into my fist with your face. Oh god, my ass kicked. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. This is really hard. Spider Man, you should be better at this. You've been doing this for a number of years now at this point. You should be better at not getting your ass kicked. Is that all you've got? Got him. Oh, I should use that running kick thing. That seems to be the best move. I just run at him and do this jump kick and then, ha, 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 ha. It's actually pretty fucking badass. Can you imagine just running up to someone and punching them in the air and then while they're in the air continuing to punch them? That's pretty fucking tits. I'm going to try doing that next time I get in a fight downtown. Let's see how well it goes. I get into fights a lot. I'm a big fighter, you know. Look just look at me. This is harder than the fucking X-Men fights. You're going to hurt someone. Kill this guy already. Jesus, how many fucking shots does he take? How many times can I do this? <laughs> so I can hit him like 10 times before he hits the ground. That's pretty badass. This seems to be an effective uh, maneuver. He's just running at them, punching them in the air, jumping, and while they're in the air, punching them more a couple times. Um, what's another cool story about Spider-Man? I know lots of stories about Spider-Man. Um, in the comic, Spider-Man right now, Peter Parker, kind of took a note from the whole Tony Stark Iron Man thing. Um, he opened up his own... Um, company called Parker Industries and it's like a, a tech company and it became like a big conglomerate company it's all over the world so now Spider-Man isn't just kind of centralized into New York you see him you know there's panels of him in Japan and Paris and Rome and Germany he goes all across the world I think it's pretty cool neat evolution for the character a lot of people hate it they think that's 
not what Spider-Man is. You're just stealing from Iron Man. Just write Iron Man if that's what you think it should be. I think it's – there's only so many – like, Spider-Man's been around for how long? Like, 100 years? <laughs> like, it's been a long time. There's only so many times you can tell a story about Peter Parker selling um, pictures to Daily Bugle. Like, there's only so many times you can do that, right? Like, it's 2017, too. Like, no one like, – that's a dying art. Like, newspapers and stuff? At least make them, like, a blogger or something, right? Like – to, in, in 2017 in New York, is there any 15-year-olds out there that take pictures for a newspaper, right? They would do it with, like, their cell phones, and they put it online on their fucking blogs. Or maybe, you know, Daily Bugle did exist. They would have, like, a, you know, like a like a little Twitter page or some shit. Like, I don't fucking know. It's, it's 2017, right? Fuck. How do I fucking... I want to web them up. Fuck off. Sure thing. Um... Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So nothing happened in this episode. I should probably tell one more story before I end this episode. Um, what's a cool story? Um, not a very interesting episode, guys. I apologize. Um, this is like the first one. I'm back from, from doing a recording. So I'm assuming the next couple episodes will be a little more exciting, more fun. I'll be a little more peppier. It is like 9 o'clock in the morning right now. I'm kind of tired. Um, so hopefully I'll be a little more peppy. Take the dick out of my ass. You know, have more fun. Um, I do want to tell a story, though. What story should I tell? Um, let's think. Marvel stories. Okay, Hulk. So everyone knows Mark Ruffalo is currently the Hulk, right? Um, originally, obviously, if you saw the Edward Norton Hulk, Edward Norton was originally intended to be the MCU Hulk, um, but then due to whatever differences, he ended up leaving, and they got Mark Ruffalo. The cool thing about that is when they were originally casting um, choices to play Hulk, they actually had Mark Ruffalo as like the second. If, if they couldn't get Edward Norton, they were going to get Mark Ruffalo. And then when Edward Norton ended up falling out after the first movie, they were just like, screw it, let's just get Mark Ruffalo. Um, as much as I do like Mark Ruffalo, he's perfect to be Hulk. I think it's a really, really good job. I think it would have been kind of interesting to see that dynamic between Edward Norton and Robert Downey Jr. and you know Chris Hemsworth and the Avengers. That would have been a, a cool, neat thing, like that back and forth there. But again, Mark Ruffalo does a really good job. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching another episode of Spider-Man 2 on Rumble Jumble. Um, again, I think we're on episode 5 now, so thank you very much for your patience. Um, coming out tomorrow, we will have the very first episode of The Incredible Hulk, starring, like I mentioned before, Edward Norton. So hopefully that game is entertaining and fun as well. Um, again, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, share the video. I have like 27 subscribers, and I think I get like 6 views per video, so I can really use the help. Um, again, guys, my name is Rumble Jumble. Swip, swip, boom!